Hey guys, what's up, Multigamma here, and I will, first off, I want to apologize for the mid-background noise that the washer going, but today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Black Ops 1 on your Xbox One. Now, I'm going to be starting off with my Elite controller. I don't have the paddles on it today, actually. I don't use them very much, but one thing I do want to mention before we get into the video, if you do play Call of Duty and we're moving stuff on the Xbox, um, oh, no apps, cool. Uh, if, you, if you engage these hair trigger locks, trust me, they help out a lot. Um, actually, you know, it's really a big help when you, when you have these hair, hair triggers, uh, because, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do, like, exhibit A and B here. Hold on a minute. Like, if you guys take a look, when I push this one down, it goes on all the way. When I push this one down, it, well, actually, this is the one that goes on all the way. Actually, they both are engaged. Okay. So this one goes on all the way. This one does not. This is really good for Call of Duty and them games with first-person shooters. Mostly because of the fact that um, they don't go down all the way, so you can aim and shoot quicker. It's almost like aimbot, but I, I, I guarantee you it's not aimbot, because there's the case. You guys saw me unboxing it, it's not aimbot. I, I really want to stress that. But okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your uh, Black Ops 1 disc in, and put it on in your Xbox One like so. There's my uh, Black Ops 1. And it's going to load on up, and if you guys are wondering, it is backwards compatible, but I'm going to teach you guys how to do this. Now, I took the liberty of installing it last night, so we're going to go ahead and start up Black Ops 1, and I don't know... There's volume, okay. This TV's quite loud. It's a good thing about TV. And there we go. Now, for those of you who recall me doing this for Black Ops 2, I just want to mention that, you know, that was sort of a, um... A day that I didn't really have much to do. So I thought, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do that. And to me, you know, okay, here we go, here we go. And you know, it actually is kind of cool. Uh, you know, being able to plug your 360 in your one. I mean, yeah, a lot of people are saying it's kind of useless. And even I think it's a little useless. Not not too much. It's actually quite useful in some aspects. Like maybe, um, uh, you know, maybe you just, maybe something's going on. Oh, okay, we crashed. I don't know why that happened. Maybe it didn't. I don't know what happened. But it does play, and you guys see that it does play on here. Um, it became backwards compatible yesterday. Major Nelson tweeted it out um, on Twitter. You guys can go check out Major Nelson, um, and he should have it somewhere in his Twitter feed. It was about eight hours when I checked it last night, but it's, it's way longer than about eight hours. It's probably close to around a day now, almost, probably. Really close to it. Um, but the Black Ops 2 hopefully will come to backwards compatible. That's probably one of the games that people want the most next to Black Ops. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try and skip this. So I know we could skip it earlier. Did it work? Something out. Oh, okay. There we go. So as you guys can see, it does work. And I'm going to mention my Black Ops multiplayer ain't that ain't the best. Is it going to crash again or is it not doing anything? It shouldn't crash. I mean, I guess it's a new backwards compatible game, so I don't expect real much from it um sweet and it works like a charm I haven't played much of black ops um I was mostly in the MW3 still lives in the store yeah see I'm only level 17 so you know I, I didn't play too much uh black ops I was mostly in the MW3 that's kind of where I started off and uh yeah so here we are we're playing black ops um and if you guys want to see gameplay, just let me know in the comments. Please be active in the comments, guys. If you guys want to see uh, gameplay of Black Ops 1, just make sure you let me know in the comments, and I'll make actual gameplay. I don't want to be holding my phone and playing, because that's not very good gameplay. But I believe you can actually access your... Um, no, whoops. There we go. You can actually um, take a screenshot of your screen here. You can also record that as well on your screen, just like I showed you guys here. So it's actually kind of cool. So I can indeed uh, create gameplay for you guys on this if you guys want. Just let me know in the comments down below. And once again, I know uh, I actually want to give a shout out. I want to show you guys. Um, I gotta find it in here somewhere. I have people that message me all the time. All my friends do. Is it? Nope, it's not it. I will find it. I will find you. And I will kill you. So, 
Um, that's not what I was looking for. Okay, well, anyways, um, I want to give a big shout out to um, Crazy Panda, I believe it is, um, on my channel here. He, me, and him have been kind of, you know, talking a little back, for, back and forth, and uh, he, you know, I thought I'd give him a shout out. He seems to be pretty good. And uh, once again, there are my uh, control freaks. I know you guys can't see them very well, but here are my control freak controller lineup. I want to get the Infinite Warfare skin and the grips on this one to make it complete. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Not too long, hopefully not too, well, hopefully not too long and not too short. Um, but again, another big shout out to Crazy Panda. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want gameplay, let me know in the comments down below. And make sure you guys subscribe for more awesome daily content as far as Call of Duty goes. I think I'm just shifting to Call of Duty and any first person shooter like Call of Duty, uh, Tom Clancy's. Um, preferably Rainbow Six Siege, or maybe even Ghost Recon if they release another one, I don't know. Um, and, um, um, and also some Battlefield 1. I'll have more information and hopefully gameplay on Black Ops later on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Have a good time.